It is lunchtime, so I think uh, maybe some flounder fillet or some Pacific cod. I like to do some, uh, I had the ahi tuna, so I'm thinking of doing maybe some Pacific cod with some tomato on it. Okay, so on the menu today is some nice Pacific cod. Okay, you want to make sure, see the back side, that's the, the harder side where the skin was. You want that on the bottom. Okay, make this little aluminum foil pan. Uh, this one I actually call um, Pacific Cod a la Brittany because uh, Brittany really likes this. And every time she comes over, I have to make it for her. So, uh, it's kind of, the name's kind of stuck. Uh, so we're going to need some breadcrumbs. Some of those. We got them. Yes, we do. We got some breadcrumbs. And we got some lemon. And we got some fresh tomatoes from the garden, of course. There's a lot of different ways you can use these uh, tomatoes. A little salt and pepper. Some butter. And a little white cooking wine. So. Um, one thing I know is probably a good idea to do, oh, and a little drizzle of olive oil, too, just for the flavor. So if you start off with the, with the, the liquids, it kind of coats, that way when you put the, um, the solids on, they won't get washed off. So, get a little virgin olive oil, mmm, and... Got a little white wine. Okay. And fresh lemon. I'm going to use about a third of this lemon. I'm going to need some of the juice. Okay, and you squeeze that right over the top. Oh, yeah, I can smell that lemon. Good eats. How old? Wolfie likes it too. He's a I thought dogs would be big on fish, but they are. They actually quite like uh, fish. So we get that. Um, let's see, what are we going to add next? Probably going to put on the garlic. And I use the um, regular you know, garlic that's in the jar already cooked. It's packed in oil. Comes in handy not having to make your own, but. You can use fresh if you want. I just find it. I just cook so much with garlic that I find it's really convenient. Okay, and then we're gonna put a little salt. And by the way, I'm gonna do this on the grill. All I do is just light the grill, put it outside, so I don't have to heat up the house in the summer. It's kind of nice. Um, then we're gonna take uh, some breadcrumbs and just. Put the breadcrumbs over the top of the, the fish. Okay. And you can put, you can go light or heavy, depending on how much breadcrumbs you like. And then I'm going to get this tomato. Okay, and I'm going to cut it probably like about quarter inch thick slices. And again, you can use beef steaks, uh, romas, doesn't really matter, whatever your taste is. And I'm going to lay those on the top. Okay, I'm going to use that one right there. That one I'm just going to eat. Then I had that for. Mmm. Eat those like, like apples. And then I picked some basil earlier for when I did the mozzarella. I put a like, little fresh basil on top of that. Mm. Wolfie's waiting in the wings, saying, Where's mine? Okay. I got some butter here. And I'm going to cut one pat. And put it on top of each 
of the tomatoes. So what happens is, as this cooks, the butter melts through the tomato, picking up that flavor. It's a little trick. And you'll see what it looks like after it's done on the grill. And give it a little garnish. Probably going to put some, um, some parsley on top. And that's it. She's ready to rock and roll. So let's get this bad, bad boy on the grill. Okay, so we're outside. Got the grill going. It's nice and hot. That's what it looks like. Can't see it. Alright. Then we're gonna take this in the foil. This little foil pan I made. I like using the foil because you just throw it out. You don't have to wash a pan. Alright. That. And you close it up. Push it down to about medium. You don't want it to burn, burn. And it'll probably take about, I'm going to say about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes tops, depending on how thick the, uh, the fish is. And those aren't too thick, so I'm, I'm guessing about 15 minutes. So we'll come back and check them. Okay, so got some uh, nice sweet corn cooking inside. I'm going to have that with the, and you can see what that looks like. You see that butter melting down through the tomato, picking up that flavor with the basil down into the uh, breadcrumbs, and then it ultimately to the fish. So that's coming along nice. And I think next week, uh, if you want a preview of what's going to be probably have done, um, we've got the Greek festival. Uh, so there's probably going to be some, I'm going to take the video camera to the Greek festival and um, check out all the good food over there. Um, and then hopefully in the future this fall I'm going to do a leg of lamb uh, on the rotisserie, show you that Greek style. But I figure next week, uh, probably going to do, um, sticking with the tomato theme because I got so many of them from the garden and I love them so much. That um, I'm going to take, these are smaller ones, so I'm using those for tomato salad. Um, but uh, the bigger ones that I'm going to pick today, probably going to do stuffed tomatoes with uh, crab meat and artichoke hots. And uh, some mushrooms, some wild mushrooms. Sounds good. So that'll be next week. Well, if you're going to have a piece of fish, you want some fish? All right, let's see how those fish is doing. Oh yeah, it's cooking up nice. You can see it bubbling down there. Not quite ready yet, maybe another 10 minutes, uh, five minutes maybe. It's been cooking for about 10 minutes, so we'll just leave that closed. Okay, I think the fish should be ready, so got my plate over here. Take a little peek. Oh, yeah, you can see the edges starting to brown up on the side there. That's when you know it's just about ready. And if you're not sure, you can just uh, test it with a fork. But um, the more you cook it, the more mushy the uh, tomatoes are going to get. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to take that off. Okay, so the uh, Pacific Cod is ready. A la Brittany. Uh, it's got some nice tomato on it. You can see see how the edges just started to burn up. That's when you know it's just about ready. It's still got some nice sauce in there, consistency, and uh, got some corn over here. Now, if you um, were serving your family, you know you put put that in a plate or or uh, individual plates if you had uh, company over. But it's just me and Wolfgang, so we just kind of sit here and uh, pick at it right from the the uh, aluminum foil. And um, that way it's just so, kind of like uh, sometimes we eat it outside. So, And uh, as always, we're going to let Wolfie try the first piece. 
Come on, Wolfie. Let's see if he likes it. Oh, yeah. Do you like that? Is it good? Yep, Wolfie likes it. So, that's what we're going to have. And um, we'll just be um, eating this and hopefully uh, head out. Yes, I, I do not have my Heineken. I have a uh, iced coffee today. Um, it's kind of a late night out with uh, Sarah. And um, we kind of... Uh, kind of hit some of the other drinks so I'm <laughs> having a nice coffee today I'm gonna have that but I'll be back in the Heineken tomorrow thanks bye